uh, <laughs> I learned that uh, uh, Haribo candy comes from Bonn. So I remember that they had a, a statue of Bruce Lee, I think. I remember their traditional dance. It was quite fun. It looked like they were really having fun. They were like running, jumping, and our teacher came and <laughs> she like danced, but she didn't know the dance, but it was quite fun. We already have a lot of similarities, starting with Kolo, our traditional dance. Um, so kind of me and my friend Una, we really took everyone's hands and we're like, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna teach you all color. Ooh, the cheese was great. They uh, brought their traditional cheese. It was really good. And those sweets, like Tietje Michael, <laughs> they're my favorite. I think that they are like really so full about the coffee and have like the tradition of going to these cafeterias whenever they actually can. Uh, so that's I think the most interesting fact because I think we have it in common. How do they call each other when you want to go to coffee? I think it's like I'm on a cafe. Yeah, exactly. where I definitely learned more about uh, human rights, how important they are, and uh, that they should be protected at all costs. So the MACC is new to me because it's a simulation of the International Criminal Court, and I've never met with something like that. And they had to read like the whole Rome Statute and the whole case, and it was really interesting to me. So I was on the team, well, on the case of Friedrich Flick, and I was on the team defense. And I found my task very interesting because we had to defend someone who appeared to be very terrible. So it was a difficult task to um, find arguments, but it was also very fun and I liked working with my team. My tasks are, were actually to prepare the case, to be ready for uh, what the defense and the prosecution team will bring out and uh, to be aware of what they're saying, so to listen carefully. I was actually walking down the streets with my friend and we were arguing like, should we go, should we not go? We look terrible, we're in our pajamas. But I just pulled her hand and I was like, let's go, we have to make some friends. And I came here and everyone just welcomed us with such big hands and such warm hugs. And I really felt like I've known them for like 10 years and I've only just met them. And we opened up very easily. There was a moment when I felt judged by someone. There was a moment where I felt like, oh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I think we all as a group like made a lot of new friends because everyone is so sympathetic and nice to each other. So we had actually no problem in communicating in English. So whenever we didn't know the word or didn't know the way we should say something, 
everyone was so helpful and supporting. 